name's Dennis Pulley, and I have been stuck on Sugar Rockets for the last nine or ten months. If you're looking this up, if you're watching this, then maybe you're in the same boat as me. Ever since the first video I saw on YouTube titled Make Your Own Rockets at Home Using Sugar, I've been stuck. Uh, I've tried every recipe that's on there, and I've watched just about every video. Maybe you've even seen some of my videos on there. Uh, most of them are entitled fail and they're followed by a number because the first six months all my stuff did was sit and burn on the rocket pad it didn't actually launch and I can tell you why all right the recipe they give you for a basic sugar rocket is potassium nitrate and sugar <clears throat> you might have seen some with powdered sugar we'll get into that in a second uh, for those of y'all who are like me, terribly impatient, didn't or couldn't find the uh, potassium nitrate right away, so you thought you'd look into the cold packs or the no salt. Now, I haven't tried these yet, but I did buy them, and I was about to try them, but luckily Amazon got here first. All right, I did not find this at Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, or Ace. I looked for it. Whether they sold it at one time, I don't know. They didn't sell it to anymore. So, ordered it from Amazon. One pound bottles, about six bucks. Uh, ordered numerous bottles at a time. It's no big deal. They didn't even look for ID. All right, now we will get into this. The cold pack that contains ammonia nitrate. Not the stuff that contains urea, but the Rite Aid brand that comes in a box of five or six has the ammonia nitrate. The no salt brand this no salt, this type right here, has the potassium chloride. Now putting these together with little effort from what I read, which I'll try in a later video, you can actually make your own potassium nitrate. It turns out it's simpler to buy because I went through the same thing. Went through so many Rite Aids and pharmacies looking for the right cold packs, which are hard to find. Most of them contain urea. Uh, and like I said, it was just easier to wait the two or three days for Amazon to deliver. Now, you've seen with powdered sugar, all right, my experience, the only way that they actually launch with powdered sugar is a dry packed formula, which is what we'll start with first. 65% potassium nitrate, 35% powdered sugar, dry mix. The first step is finding what you're going to launch out of. Uh, I make my own paper tubes, but Mostly, I've been using PVC. When I first started building them, I could not get it off the ground. I blamed it on PVC, saying they must be too heavy. The pipe just must be too heavy. It wasn't. My uh, formula was just too weak. I was doing it wrong. The, what you see on YouTube does not show you everything. I bet 80% of those videos, of those formulas, are, are wrong. They're just not going to work. They're going to burn. And it might look powerful, but it's not going to launch. Um, and that's because there's only two ways to get it to launch it. And it's all in how the ingredients are combined. All right? It's all in how they're combined. The cooking or the recrystallization using powdered sugar, I have not gotten to work. I've used two brands of powdered sugar. I've used with the caro syrup. I've used the cornstarch. None of that worked. A dry pack does work. So starting with, first you have to start with your cat litter or clay. It's bentonite clay and what I do with this is I ran it through a coffee grinder to make a powder. Then dip this into the powder and find a rod or a dowel that neatly fits into your tube. And the tighter fits, the better, of course. And that, combined with your rubber hammer, don't beat it on your coffee grinder, obviously. Don't beat it on your countertop either, but a few pounds and you will get a plug. And it's actually very hard, and you want that plug to be about three-eighths of an inch thick, which, let's go ahead and mark. So this is our plug. Right here, that's solid cat litter, 
and that is the top of your rocket. The first cup launches you do when you build these, you want to essentially tape to a stick and shoot as a bottle rocket. Because you don't want to waste a bunch of time or a bunch of rockets hooking up stuff that's just going to sit there and burn. Okay? So once you have that plug in there, you always want to get your plug done in advance. Not so much with this method, but with any other. All right, we are going to measure out our ingredients. Yes, you have to have a scale. Uh, my first couple months of doing this stuff, I tried with no scale. I looked up how much each weighed, and I made elaborate scales homemade of my own, and blah, blah, blah. All right, none of that worked. You have to know exact weights. It has to be 35 65 now it will still work up to about 60 or up to about 70 30 but that that's it that's a small window so we set it to grams i'm going to subtract that and what i want is let's say let's start with this and let's say 6.5 grams it makes it easy correct Right, 6.5 grams. 7. Let me zoom in a little bit for you. Alright, there we go. Alright, we're at 7. And since mine doesn't give half grams. I do is estimate. Alright, so take a little bit of that out. Six point five grams is not very much, but I'm just doing enough to show you the burn. Alright, so we have that and we dump it. And then three point five grams of the powdered sugar. Not much more than a teaspoon. Alright, 3.5 grams, and by volume, the sugar actually looks like it's more. Alright. Alright, the best thing to do, this is empty actually. If you've been paying if you're watching any of these videos, then I'm sure you know what a ball mill is. Well, it's not absolutely necessary. Of course, it does make things better, but it, uh, this is the same principle. This is the jug. I've got some media inside of there. And we're just going to mix the stuff up. We're just going to marry it to each other. I'm going to shake this for about three minutes. Okay. Mix that for about three minutes or so. absolutely you have to have and you have to order is this visco fuse there are a hundred ways to light it but there's no reliable way unless you get the things that come with the Estes rockets that hook to a battery or you just flat out buy the visco fuse so we're gonna take some of this outside just so I can show you the burn I'm not gonna launch a rocket it's midnight well, actually, I've changed my mind. What I did was make a very small tube by rolling up some post-its with a piece of tape. And then, of course, a cat litter plug at the end. So, I am going to extinguish my smoking material. Because although I might be a moron, I'm not stupid. Alright, and then I'm going to pack the material in there. A little bit at a time. This is a pretty good fit. A little drill bit. I'm just going to pack it in there. One little scoop at a time. This might be better. And 
being how it's powder, you want it to be somewhat tight, otherwise it just shoots out. So, dun, 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 dun. This is the part of the tape I will speed up. All right, then I have a finished product which resembles a firecracker. Now I need to put a hole in it for the fuse. Okay, a small piece of tape to hold in the fuse. to make sure that it stays. <clears throat> All right, so we have it. I'm just going to tape it. I can't launch it because it's 1 o'clock, 12, 15 at night, but I can tape it and you'll be able to see that it would launch. This part is keeping the fuse in with something so small. So, we'll grab a little trusty. Yes, of course I'm going to take it outside. Alright, so we have my test pit. And now we are going to, I'm just going to show you what it would do. Would have easily launched. very very small and that's just a dry mix that is the weakest version of the formula you can make hi my name is Dennis Pulley and uh, earlier I showed you how to make uh, rockets with powdered sugar the only way that actually works I'm going to show you how to make rockets that actually shoot quite a bit higher I've heard of people with just a regular grain size, which is about four inches long, shooting these things uh, two, three thousand feet. Um, I do believe it. Uh, I've never put an altimeter on one of mine, but they, they shoot way up there. But 